Today we are talking Dollar Tree kitchen hacks. You're not gonna wanna miss this. This is my favorite $1.25 secrets for your kitchen. First up in the Dollar Tree, you can get these flexible cutting boards. They come as a pack of two, and these are such an absolute steal. They sell almost identical ones to these um, places online like Amazon or Target or whatever for literally $2 each, and here you get two for $1.25. They literally have the durability of a cutting board. You can cut on them, they are not gonna scratch through to your countertops underneath, whatever countertops you have. Like They provide an adequate level of durability, but the flexibility of them just makes them so simple and easy to use. You can literally fold them if you want to like pour whatever you've cut into a bowl. You can use them to line the top of another cutting board if you're like gonna cut meat and then cut vegetables. And yes, they are dishwasher safe. Next time we at the Dollar Tree, don't forget to get a couple of the disposable muffin trays. And this is why they are the perfect thing to use for leftovers. Take a little bit of each item and put them into your muffin trays, cover it up with some tin foil, and you literally have the perfect vessel to have like a little bit of each leftover. This can go right into the oven to warm back up. It's also great for things like obviously Thanksgiving or um, dinner parties, because these you can send people home with them and you don't have to worry about like giving them a Tupperware and then they gotta give you the Tupperware back. Just such a great Dollar Tree hack. Okay, next up when you're in the Dollar Tree, go past the kitchen section into the cleaning section and you're going to get yourself one of the plungers. Yes, for toilets. Basically what you want is the wooden rod and then you're going to get yourself one of these mop broom holders. These are basically like adhesive. They stick onto the wall so that you can hang your mops and brooms, but we are going to use them for storage. And these hangers come with their own adhesive backing. So you can literally just like peel and stick it um, or you could choose to use the little screw holes if you wanted to like screw it permanently into place. And then you're gonna go ahead and press the dowel into the broom holder on either side to create yourself basically like a little hanging rail. Now, if you have a much larger area, you could also get the handles that come from like the Dollar Tree brooms or the Dollar Tree dust pans. So you can really do different sizes. I liked the wooden ones from the plungers because it was like the right width for where I was hanging this up. Now you've created like a hanging rail, but each one of these things holds almost five pounds so you can hang all of your cleaners on it you can hang dish towels you could use s hooks to hang things from here like baskets or pantry items literally the options are endless okay next up grab some of these scoops from the Dollar Tree these are so great to use for your like bakery dry goods I add a command hook right on to like the canisters that I keep like my flowers and my sugars and like my most common used items in and then I just hang the scoop right onto the side of that canister for really easy access. Just a great way to streamline some of your pantry items. Next up, Dollar Tree sells this pop-up parchment paper. I love this. I'm a huge user of parchment paper to line my cooking trays, like when I'm roasting vegetables, when I am baking cookies, when I'm like doing basically anything, I use parchment paper because it just makes cleanup easier and generally just like makes baking easier because things are not sticking to it. So these are just pre-measured pieces of parchment paper, which I love because it just speeds things up. You can grab a piece, line your baking tray, and you are good to go. This is a must have Dollar Tree kitchen item for me. A Dollar Tree product that I feel like is like an OG. Like I feel like it has been at the Dollar Tree since Dollar Tree first was sprouted. Get it? Cause it's a tree, it like sprouted. And that is these vinyl cupboard liners. It's still around because it still works. I love using these to line the inside of drawers. It basically just creates like a no skid sort of surface inside of your drawers. Every time you open and close the drawer, those things sort of shift around and these will keep that from shifting around. They also say that they are stain resistant and they are even washable. So you can literally just like wipe them clean and keep using them. Also on that note, these rubber cooking utensils from the Dollar Tree are some of my absolute favorites. I love them for my pans that I can't use metal on, and I've had many of these for years, and they are still just as good as the first day that I got them, a true gem for $1.25. All right, another little hack in the kitchen section is you can get these tower, power, paper towel holders. If you pick up two of these, you can actually get really creative creating um, different like storage baskets that are good for inside of pantries or even on countertop. I'm using the gold baskets here that you get um, like in the storage organization section. So I'm using these zip ties from the Dollar Tree to adhere the baskets onto the paper towel holder. The zip ties from the Dollar Tree are like one of my favorite Dollar Tree products pretty much ever. 
I use them for so many things and it's all you need to do. You don't need to secure this with like extra glue. The zip ties will hold this into place. And then because I had silver and gold, I, I went ahead and gave this whole thing like a spray paint of gold so it all matched. But for four products from the Dollar Tree, now I've created this really great little organization caddy. You could switch out what baskets you're using. You could use the longer, skinnier baskets from the Dollar Tree if you wanted something more for like spices and you could do three across and you could do three up. This is just a really great little hack using the paper towel holders from the Dollar Tree to create your own customizable organizer. The Dollar Tree sells these mini shaker jars, which are great for salt and pepper, but I also love them for other commonly used toppings like Parmesan cheese. These would be super cute to use right on a table for different seasonings. I also love this mix and serve container. It has some measurements right on the side. You can mix up dressings, syrups, condiments, and then the top actually has a simple pour spout. So you can just mix it up, store it, and serve it right from this. It really is a great product for that dollar and a quarter price. The next hack is to buy a set of burner covers to make a lazy Susan. So each packs of these come with a large one and a small one. You're going to start by locating the center of each burner cover. I do this by tracing each cover on a piece of paper and then I cut it out, fold that piece in half, fold it in half again, and you'll be able to locate the center point. Using a sharp item such as a nail, I'm going to create a hole at the exact center of each cover. Then using brass brads, you can often get these at the Dollar Tree or just get them on Amazon or at Staples. You're going to feed this through the top one of the burners, add two washers, and then feed it through the next cover and fold to secure. And you've created a really simple, affordable Lazy Susan for storing your oils, your spices, and more. One of my favorite Dollar Tree hacks that I have done, simply because I literally use this almost every single day, my storage for measuring cups and spoons. So grab a hack of measuring spoons and measuring cups from the Dollar Tree. Also grab two of the Dollar Tree command hook dupes, and you're gonna put these inside of a cabinet door, and then you're gonna hang your measuring spoons and cups right on these to make them easily accessible. I love this. No more shifting through my like other drawers to find my measuring cups or my teaspoons. Have them right at an easy grasp. One final hack I love is getting a soap dispenser from the Dollar Tree to decant my dish soaps. I just find a cohesive container looks a lot nicer sitting out on the sink than the busy packaging that most dish soaps come in. And if you wanna get really fancy, you can even get one of the automatic dispensers from Amazon. These are universal, clip onto all different kinds of bottles and containers and will make your dish soap dispense automatically. All right, my friends, that does it. Some of my favorite kitchen hacks from the Dollar Tree. As always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Remember to be kind to yourself and others, and I will see you all in my next video.